So today we're going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to our hearts here at Core Performance, something we're very passionate about. Old Guard versus Disruptor. Challenger versus Incumbent. More specifically, we're going to talk about it in terms of the Safari Land UBL versus the True North Concepts MHA. What are they? What are the differences? Which one's best for you? Let's get started. <laughs> So before we dive into Safari Land UBL versus True North Concepts MHA, let's talk about what we're actually talking about, okay? For in case you're not familiar with the Safari Land UBL or the True North Concepts MHA, what we're talking about is how to mount your holster to your gun belt. More specifically, how to do this, okay? When you have a cool holster like this Safari Land 6354DO, you gotta have a way to mount it to your cool belt like this AWS gear uh, SMU belt. Uh, and how you do that is these belt loops or modular holster adapters. UBL stands for Universal Belt Loop. That's the Safari Land product. That's the incumbent. The Challenger, the Disruptor, is the True North Concepts MHA. MHA stands for Modular Holster Adapter. All right, so whenever we talk about modular holster adapters or universal belt loops, we've got to talk about compatibility. And in terms of compatibility, Safari Land actually makes this really, really easy. The UBL um, is designed to use this component here, this system, which is called QLS or Quick Locking System. Uh, the QLS allows you to rapidly switch your holsters on, and your uh, gun belts or your platforms. Okay, so this male part connects to this female part, and that's how you're able to switch your holsters between different platforms or gun belts. It makes it super, super easy. Now, in terms of compatibility, the UBL is really designed to work with this QLS system, both of which are made by Safari Land. Uh, however, with the True North Concepts MHA, it definitely takes this QLS system that is made by Safari Land pretty easily, in fact. And you can see we'll just right there. Super simple, right? But the beauty of the True North Concepts MHA is that it also takes MLS. ELS, ZLS, whatever, it takes a whole alphabet soup of different adapter mechanisms. Uh, it also takes the G-code system, uh, RTI, and it, and it can even take the, the Blackhawk uh, Omnivore thing, if that's kind of your style and you want to roll that way. Um, so the True North Concepts is super, super flexible because it can take pretty much every adapter system out on the market. Um, the Safari Land may be able to do that in the future, but for right now it was really optimized for the QLS. So we're probably gonna say that on compatibility, the True North Concepts MHA probably takes the lead. Okay, so next up is modularity. And when we talk about modularity, what are we really talking about? We're really talking about a couple different things, cant and ride height. Uh, when it comes to can't, what does that mean, Justin? Does that mean that I can't draw? I can't carry my gun? No, this is a channel and a company of freedom. We would never tell you that. So can't is basically this, okay? If you need to adjust your uh, draw stroke to accommodate, uh, maybe you need a you know, little bit more forward, maybe you need a little bit backwards, maybe you need a neutral, who knows, whatever. But that's what we're talking about when we talk about can't. Here's the downside with the UBL. With the UBL, that's this one, you can't adjust the can't. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> you can't adjust the can't. Unless you get a different 
UBL family member. Okay, so this is a standard UBL and you can see the holes are fixed. Okay, so you're just gonna get stuck with whatever cant angle, this is a neutral um, that you're gonna, it comes out of the box. Now you can get a different Safari Land product called a CUBL that has grooves instead of these holes that allow you to adjust the cant angle. You can also get this thing, which I think is called the VUBL, and it allows you to adjust cant thanks to these grooves that look a lot like the ones on the True North MHA. But it also has this lever and locking system, this cam system, that allows you to slide uh, your holster up and down to adjust ride height. Okay. Now, it's interesting to note, this has other downsides that we'll get to later in the video that are not obvious here, but are going to be obvious later. Um, when you compare the ride height, okay, obviously versus another UBL, you can have a lot more adjustability. When it comes to the MHA, okay, you can see the MHA actually is able to go a little bit lower if you've got crazy long arms or you're just, you know, Tom Brady or you play in the NBA, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but the VUBL from Safari Land, that's this one here, allows you to go a little bit higher and closer to the belt. Now, me personally, um, you know, when I was on the job, I spent most of my time actually not like in a car on traditional patrol, but I spent it mostly in the backcountry. So I was walking around all the time. And let me tell you, having a low mounted holster sucks ass out there. If you got to walk around, if you you were in like early GWAT, you know what I'm talking about. You had a drop leg, okay? The shit just bangs around on your leg and it uh, just gets kind of annoying, right? It, it can bruise your thigh. It's, it's just terrible, right? So higher ride towards your belt line is actually what you want. And the VUBL actually does that a little bit better than the True North Concepts uh, MHA. So that's something that you're uh, definitely going to want to consider. Now, when we talk about this VUBL and the adjustability, okay, there is no way to deal with the hotspot that this thing's going to generate. And it's going to generate, okay? Anybody who's ever worn one of these things on the job knows, man, these things... They leave a, an impression, shall we say, uh, after you're done with your shift. I know if I'd get off, you know, uh, 10, 12 hours, uh, man, I always uh, was reminded in a couple of different ways. Uh, one on my thigh from the Safari Land UBL that I was issued, and then the other one from the rash I'd have on my body armor for all the heat and the sweat and the shit that built up uh, over the course of a shift. Uh, both of them suck. The VUBL does not allow you to mitigate that. The UBL and the True North Concepts MHA both can take our ice fence holster pads, which you can see here, um, and that was ice fence arrow. This is the uh, soon to be released ice fence classic specifically designed for the True North Concepts MHA. Um, so you can totally eliminate that hotspot with an ice fence pad. Super, super awesome. The pain becomes a thing of the past. Um, and that's super important if you got to wear these for long periods of time. VUBL can't mount it that way. So something to consider, uh, but overall modularity for uh, can't, Ride height adjustment and uh, hotspot mitigation. True North Concepts still killing it. All right, so now that we've talked about compatibility, modularity, can't, and all these other fun things, how do we actually mount the thing? Well, it's actually super simple. Okay, the UBL, VUBL, CUBL, DUBL, BUBL, whatever, it's a belt loop. You just put the belt through it. Two, two and a half inches, whatever, doesn't matter. That's how you do it. Okay. Um, something to keep in mind though, when you put it through the belt, you can see it's going to angle the uh, belt loops towards your body and you're going to need to mitigate that, okay? There's ways to mitigate it, like these ice fence pads that we have on here, super, super easy. Now, that's mounting the Safari Land UBL, VUBL, CUB, they all mount the same way, okay? Belt loops. Now, the True North Concepts MHA is really novel this way, okay? and. This is not a pitch, this is just really cool because we admire cool design around here. Okay, the True North Concepts MHA allows you to mount through Molly. So remember, belt pass through, but the True North Concepts allows you to mount through Molly like this. It's super cool, okay? So you can see that the holster is actually completely, the MHA is completely on the outside of the belt. Um, and it uh, doesn't require you to run the belt loop through at all. But if you want to, you can. It's that simple. All right, so next let's talk leg straps. If leg straps are your thing, if straps are your thing. I don't know if they are, but if they are, the section's for you. All right, so the leg strap is super easy. With the True North Concepts MHA, they make a strap kit. I think it's 35 bucks. Uh, you can also swap out for the T-Rex Arms one. 
a couple other companies that make leg strap kits for this. Um, and you know, True North Concepts allows you to run it with or without the leg strap addition. Uh, so a lot of optionality and flexibility, again, without dismounting your entire setup. Okay. Now, the Safari Land, we have just have the regular UBL here, but there is a uh, kit, I think model 3004-1, uh, we'll put it on the screen right now, where you can add a leg strap if you want. Again, same options, T-Rex, other companies make leg straps if that's your thing and you want to run a leg strap with your holster. That's pretty much it on leg straps. Okay, so now we're going to talk about cost, right? Um, I'm not even going to front, okay? With cost and Safari Land, I have to look at my notes. So I'm going to look at my notes. I'm literally going to read from my notes because that's how many numbers we talk. I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Justin, he's Asian. He can do math. Wrong. You would be wrong. I was like a C math student on a good day. I think I maybe got an A here and there. My business partner, JD, actually does all the math at the company. Uh, so common misconception, but we're going to go right to the notes. With Safari Land. <laughs> When you kind of add all the things up so that you get all of the ride height adjustments and the cant angles and everything like that, then you get to like $182. Yep, $182, okay, uh, for Safari Land, right? So lots of numbers, $182 for all the capability. True North Concepts MHA, how much does it cost? What does it cost? All the options, $75. All the options, $35. Together, $110. You get all the capabilities. That's way easier. Even I can remember all that. Simple math. Okay, so much like the theme for this video, um, old guard versus uh, disruptor, you know, incumbent versus challenger, we're now gonna talk about one of another one of our favorite topics around core performance, which is weight. You know that we're huge fans of weight savings uh, here, and we're huge fans of design and engineering principles that save weight, because though kind of beaten to death, it is very true. It's a time-honored adage, right? Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. Now, for the Safari Land UBL, okay, and again, I'm gonna reference my notes because there are a lot of numbers here. We're gonna try to not screw it up. Uh, the Safari Land UBL weighs 2.3 to 3.3 ounces depending on uh, the ride height that you get. Obviously, the low ride variant, uh, this one, is gonna weigh a little bit more than a mid or a high ride, okay, or whatever they call that on the belt one. Uh, so that's 2.3 to 3.3 ounces. Now, uh, we're not going to talk about the weight of the QLS because QLS is fixed, right? The QLS adds weight to a UBL, it adds weight to an MHA, and it adds the same amount of weight, okay? Uh, for a VUBL, that's this thing, right, that gives you the ride height adjustment and the cant adjustment, this thing is five ounces. Holy crap, five ounces? That's like half the weight of an ice plate. That's insane, all right? And this thing can't hydrate you. It is carrying your gun, but it can't hydrate you. So that's a lot, okay? Uh, a VBL plus a QLS, uh, it's six and a half ounces. I mean, it's getting pretty beefy. Okay. Now, we go over to the MHA. This is 4.7 ounces. Uh, when you add the QLS, you get to 6.3. Uh, it's worth noting that in all of this, for comparison and context, an ice fence arrow holster pad weighs 0.3. Yes, 0 0.3 versus 7, 6, 5, all these other numbers, right? Um, an MHA uh, plus QLS plus ice fence plus leg strap, basically the whole enchilada um, weighs like 8.7 ounces. So uh, on this one, if you are smart and you find the Safari Land system that works for you, uh, Safari Land definitely wins here on weight. It is lighter. Uh, you don't you lose the adjustability, but if you find the setup that you like, if you get the CBL and you get the right ride height for you, and you find the right cant, okay, once you set it all up, you're definitely going to be lighter on the Safari Land, and not by a little. You're going to be a lot lighter, okay. Uh, True North is definitely heavier. It's it's almost twice as heavy, okay. Uh, but you get a lot of adjustability. Uh, my personal opinion, I'm not telling you guys what to do. Obviously, a core performance, we don't ever want to tell anybody what to do. This is freaking America. Uh, and uh, you should do whatever the hell you want, okay, uh, for whatever reason you want. But if you want my opinion, okay, um, if I had, if I was still on the job today, um, for my job, which was walking around the, you know, the desert and the backcountry and whatnot a lot, I'd probably go for the lighter option. Uh, in my life today, where we do a lot of product testing and flat range work, I'm going to go with the True North Concepts MHA. So flat range, 
on duty, backcountry, walking around all the time. I think it's probably pretty simple. That's our recommendation. Numbers prove it out. All right, so now we're gonna talk about comfort. Comfort is hugely important, right? Now, in this community in particular, we like to kind of, everybody likes to play tough and like, oh, I don't need to be comfortable. I'm, I'm a hard ass, whatever. Yeah, okay, great. Way to go, tough guy. Here's the reality of when you're in the field. When you're in the field, comfort takes away bandwidth and you need bandwidth to focus on threats, okay? So comfort does matter. And we're gonna talk about comfort with these two pieces. Now, when you come to, it comes to the Safari Land UBL, okay, it is lighter. Uh, but you can see this angle here, it does create a pressure point on your leg, which is why this Icevents Aero Holster Pad is like one of our best selling products. I think it actually might be our best selling product by volume. Uh, but it's still super light and the Icevents Aero Holster Pad solves the comfort problem entirely. Now, when you add the Icevents uh, Aero Holster Pad, like you just read the reviews, don't take my word for it. Customers will tell you exactly what they think of it. Um, we sell thousands and thousands of them. They're freaking awesome, okay? Um, and ultimately the Safari Land product is plastic. So it's gonna be not a lot malleable, but it's gonna be at least softer than this. The True North Concepts MHA, at the end of the day, is still aluminum, right? It is a metal, and this is wearing metal on your leg, and it's way, way stiffer. Now, from a comfort standpoint, it's not great, but again, hold on. This is where Ice Fence to the rescue, right? So this is the True the uh, Ice Fence Classic MHA specific holster pad, uh, and this totally eliminates any hotspots created by the, uh, the MHA. It's, it's amazing, right? Just like it, the Ice Fence Arrow does. Uh, now, that stiffness, like many things in engineering, there's a trade-off, okay? So the stiffness, not super comfortable, but we've already talked about how we mitigated that with Ice Fence. Uh, the stiffness, however, also makes for super consistent, super repeatable muscle memory and training. Uh, yeah, it's not as comfortable, but again, we mitigate it with Ice Fence, but man, it is awesome for consistency, uh, and it, it definitely feels better and more confident when you are when it's on your rig and uh, you're, you're carrying around your pistol. And that actually counts for something. It's one less thing you got to think about. This thing is bomb-proof, and it's not going anywhere, and you can count on that draw stroke and that consistency each and every time. Okay, now we're going to talk about availability. Uh, this is actually pretty simple. The Safari Land UBL is ubiquitous. It is, as its name implies, universal. You can find it at local gun shops everywhere, shooting ranges everywhere, and you can find it on Amazon. But just ask yourself, if you're watching this video, especially at this point, should you really be buying this thing on Amazon? I mean, it's Amazon. It's Jeff Bezos. True North Concepts MHA is getting picked up by two-way friendly retailers more and more every day. Uh, True North is obviously uh, hugely freedom forward. These guys are awesome. Uh, Nathan and I talk pretty regularly and we, we know a lot about you know how they feel about things. And uh, when you wanna support a Second Amendment company, this is the jam, okay? Uh, and you can find it at a lot of two-way friendly retailers, both click and mortar. So uh, you're good to go, the choice is yours. So now that we've talked about modularity, cost, weight, adaptability, can't angle, BUBL, blah, 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 blah. Like, well, which one does it come down to? Should I get the Safari Land UBL system or should I go with the True North Concepts MHA? And it really just comes down to what your personal preference is, what your mission is, what your application is, okay? How you are going to use this, how you carry your gun. Me personally, uh, for what I did uh, professionally, walking around the deserts, the borders, the mountains, that kind of thing, I'd probably go with the Safari Land, like I mentioned earlier, because weight's a really big deal. If I was building it all over again, um, you know, would I swap out? Probably not. But if I were building it from scratch, I would definitely go with the MHA. Now, if, in, for flat range work, for training, uh, everyday use, uh, you know, or maybe urban work, uh, city work, man, True North Concepts all day long, every day, because you just can't beat the modularity, as the name implies. It's really pretty freaking awesome. And the stiffness, now that we've mitigated the comfort issue with the Ice Fence Classic uh, MHA pad, uh, the stiffness is really pretty epic uh, when it comes to consistency and muscle memory and that kind of thing. So uh, that's our two cents. We hope this video was really helpful, guys. Um, we would love it and really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, turn on those notifications and subscribe. It really helps us out on, and makes sure that you get the latest content whenever we put it out. And you guys have seen we've tried to really ramp that up lately. Uh, 
Last but not least, we want to know what you've decided to run. You know, after you watch this video, did you decide to go Safari Land or did you decide to go True North Concepts? Let us know in the comments below. We'll catch you next time. Stay frosty. Thank you.